So, I mentioned this a little bit last time uh, about cumulative frequency, and I showed you roughly how the curve looks, but now I'm going to go through an actual example, show you how you can find the information, find the mean, find the median, and so on. So, I picked a similar example to the one we had on Friday, for those of you that weren't here. Um, so we have height in centimeters of plants, so from 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, and 9 to 12 centimeters. And then of course the number of plants, so 2, 5, 10, 3. So cumulative frequency means that you have to add each of these numbers, excuse me, to the total before it. So for example, for the first one, the cumulative frequency is 2, so it's the same. Then the next one, I add the 5 to get 7, then I add the 10 to get 17, then I add the 3 to get 20. So it's basically showing as you go the total number of plants that you have, in this case anyways. Okay? So the first part says, find an estimate for the mean height, and draw a cumulative frequency curve and find an estimate for the median height. Okay? Now, Probably the hardest part of this is the first one, only because it requires the most, I guess, actual calculations. Okay. So this is how we find our estimate. So what you need to do is you need to find this value here. And what this is, is the midpoint of the range okay, times the frequency. So if my range, for example, is you know, 0 to 3, Okay, so then the range is three, right? There's three units there. And then you find the midpoint by dividing by two. So that gives me one and a half. Okay, so the midpoint of those ones would be one and a half. Okay, then I take that and multiply with my frequency, which gives me three. Right, one and a half times two gives me three. Then for the next one here, 3 and 6, okay, again I'm going to find this, uh, my midpoint between these two. So because this one's not 0, I guess it should be, probably confuse you if I do that, right? We add the 2, which gives us 9, and 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. So the midpoint between 3 and 6, we get 4 and a half. And then I multiply 4.5 times my frequency, which gives me 22.5. Okay, so that's what I'm doing for this part here. I find the midpoint in my range, multiply with my frequency, and that's when I get these numbers. So when I want to find the mean now, I take these new numbers that I found, okay, and I add them all up, so I find the total. So 3 plus 22 and a half plus 75 plus 31.5 gives me 132. Then I take 132 and divide by how many plants there are, which in this case is 20. Right? So like with the mean, you divide by how many things there are, right? Or how many numbers you're adding. In this case, plants. So we divide by 20. So the mean height of these plants is 6.6. Six now, the reason why we have to use this here, our midpoint times our frequency, is because we don't actually know the height of each one of these plants. I just know that these two plants are between zero and three. So one could be half a centimeter, the other one could be you know, 1.6 centimeters, or one of them could be 2.8, the other one could be two. I don't really know the exact height of all of these plants. So you find the midpoint in your range to get just the best estimate, really. Okay, so it's your best guess would be halfway between your range. So that's why we have to use this rather than just um, the number or the frequency here times some numbers in the range because we don't know the individual plant heights. Okay. Are we following along so far what I just did? Okay. So that is how we find our mean height. Okay, so our mean is 6.6. .6. Now we have our uh, 
uh, question B. So drawing the curve and finding the median. Okay. The median value. So just to go back. Our cumulative frequency curve and find the estimate for the median height. So for this one, I'm actually going to go through how we draw this. Um, <clears throat> now the values that we're going to put on this side are these ones here because it's a cumulative frequency curve. So I'm not actually going to use these values here, right? I'm going to use the cumulative values. So if I roughly I'll draw this as best I can, we're going to 20. So we'll say 20 is here, 10 here, 5, so about 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 13, 16, 18. So as best I can, from 0 to 20. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the values that you put on the bottom here are going to be the upper bound, so the number that's on the right in your range. So 3, 6, 9, 12. And the reason we use those numbers is because both of these plants, although we don't know how tall they are, we do know that they're not taller than 3 centimeters in this case. So 3 centimeters, once we get to 3 centimeters here, we know that there are going to be two plants that are less than that. We don't know exactly what their height is, but we know that they're in that range. So 3, 6, 9, 12 are the numbers we'll use. So let's say 3, 6, 9, 12. So at 3, I have two plants that are that tall. So no points up there. At six, we have seven plants that are in that range. At nine, we have 17. So that's about here. And then at 12, we have all 20, which is about there. And from those four points, you're just going to draw a curve through all, all of them, starting at zero. Okay, so that is our cumulative frequency curve. <clears throat> so once you have this curve, then we can find an estimate for the median value. The median, if you don't remember, is the number that's in the middle. Right? So if we took, if we knew all of the individual heights of these plants, we'd put them all in order and then find the one in the middle. But because we don't know, we just have to make our best guess. Okay, so we come up with um, come up with an estimate. It's not going to do this. So there are 20 plants in total. Okay, so I divide that by two. So whatever my highest value is here, I divide it by two. That gives me 10. So that tells me the tenth value or tenth height in this case is going to be my median. So the median height is the tenth value, so it's about seven centimeters. So you go to your graph, you go to ten, and I'll just draw a line all the way across, and then draw a line all the way down. Now if, of course, my graph is a little more accurate, um, you get a value around seven centimeters, maybe seven or eight, or seven and a half, depending on how you want to work it. Okay, so our estimate would be about seven centimeters. So that is what we can expect the middle value of these plants to be. <clears throat> Any questions about that example? How do we get to be? Okay. So do you know what the median is? Like just in a general set of data, right? So we know what we're trying to find is the height of the plant that's in the middle, right? That's what we're looking for. So we don't know exactly what the heights of these plants are. So we have to take a guess, an estimate. So to do that, we first have to figure out what plant is going to be in the middle. So if there are 20 plants in total, I divide by two, and that tells me that the 10th plant would be the one in the middle, right? That makes sense? Okay, so 10 would be in the middle there. So I just use my graph to make my estimate, to make my guess. 
So I go to number 10, which would be uh, the 10th plant, right? Because there are 20 plants here. I pick number 10. And then I just draw a line over to my curve because my curve isn't going to be exact anyways, right? Even the curve itself is just a, a guess. So it's not going, you're not going to get an exact answer. But I go to 10, go to my curve, and then I go straight down to tell me, okay, so whatever value I have here is the estimate for my median. So that is what, you know, my guess of what the height of the plant would be in the middle, which is seven centimeters in this case. Yes, always divided by two. And, you know, sometimes you might not even get a whole number. You might get, you know, ten and a half, eight and a half, something like that, which is fine because, it's, again, it's just an estimate. So you would go to, you know, ten and a half, go over and go down, same thing. Make sense? Okay. And, of course, this value, seven centimeters, isn't going to be perfect either. I mean, if I gave everyone this exact same set of data, you went through all this information, graphed your points perfectly, drew your curve, your answer still won't be exactly the same. Some of you might get, you know, 7.3, 6.8, something like that. They aren't going to be just one answer. So there is that little bit of leeway, because even in just drawing the curve, the curve might be different. Right? They won't be exactly the same. So that's why it's just an estimate. So I could say, you know, plus or minus one centimeter. So if your answer is between, say, six and eight, then that's fine. Right? That would be acceptable. So you don't have to worry about your answers being exactly right. <clears throat> Are there any other questions? So we all understand how to do this? David, you with me? Okay. So that is the end of this chapter. So being able to draw a histogram, the cumulative frequency uh, part that we did here, drawing the curve, finding mean, or an estimate, sorry, of the mean and median, and that is it. So it's a very short chapter. Um, I might, I think what I'll do